Welcome back, guys. We're gonna go kill Seath. Apparently, now there's a fog wall that I can't see back there. So, these clam guys won't join in every time. They only join in the first time. But I can run through. I can't take this. Neither can I. Also, Seath is blind. Interesting tidbit. Ah! Ah! I understand. That crystal, I thought I already broke it. Maybe you have to break it for every fight. Have fun. There we go. Now he's mortal. But yeah, he's blind. So if you have the ability to make yourself super quiet, makes him much more difficult to detect you. Oh, yes, that feels good. Oh, God. The Jukes! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Good damage. I like it. Alright, come on in. Come on in. And don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Please, please don't get stuck. Okay. Well, I dodged. Somehow. Big boom. Oh god! Oh the curse! Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't get cursed. I'm almost out of pyromancies too, that's bad. Okay. I really hope you can be toxic. Otherwise, that was for naught. But you're just like, you're completely in it, so. Yeah, I guess not. Alright. That was worth a shot. Spin, 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 spin. Wow. That does half as much damage. I would love to hit his tail. Believe me, I would love to chop off that tail. All dragons have choppable tails. However, I would be much happier just to kill him and not not fuck myself. Please don't fuck myself. Ow. Well, at least I didn't get cursed when I died. Wow, that hurt. Okay, okay, I know what to do now. I got it. We're good. We're good. I got this. Great combustion's not long enough, let me tell you. Fire orb. I mean, it's not great, but it is pyromancy, so I don't have to get right up in his face. Yeah, Pyromancy. Pyromancy all the way. Great Chaos Fireball. Just to be safe, I'm not going to have my Pyromancy active until I get to the boss fight. 
because I don't want to accidentally throw off a great chaos fireball and you know have one short. I don't even know how many souls I I lost there. I mean, I had four thousand when I just died. Uh, that's probably like twenty or thirty thousand souls. I don't know. Not all that concerned. The one humanity is a, you know, a sad tragedy. But whatever. Here, <laughs> someone's just going through the entire crystal cave, putting here, 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 just all over. Bye. Have fun. Don't have to kill the man eater guys. The the clams. Don't have to kill those. I can ignore those. And just kill him. I wish you could get more moonlight butterfly souls from the moonlight butterflies that are here. I mean what's also same for the Taurus demons that we see down in the uh the ruins of Isolith. The Taurus demons that are on the lava. Why don't those drop? I guess the original Taurus demon didn't drop any big soul either. Neither did the... Never mind. But at least the Moonlight Butterfly did. So why can't we get more of the Moonlight Butterfly great souls? Try Pyromancy. Yes! Pyromancy's amazing. So there are still people playing this game. They're fairly active. Try Lightning. Yeah, I've seen that one a bunch. Still fairly active individuals. Oh, no way. No way. No, no way. No, 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 Heal like a mofo. Okay. Hi. I'm going this way. Sneak behind you. Real quick. Destroy this crystal. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. Okay, come after me. Come this way. Good. Get away from the wall. A little bit more. A little bit more. Get away from the wall. I want to fight you out in the open, buddy. I don't want to get stuck on the wall. There we go. That's manageable. Now it's just a matter of actually getting the kill. Holy cheese nips. The frames! That's why I have my shield up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. That's bad. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Okay, heal, heal! Oh god! <laughs> Man. Take some fire, please. Damn. Get up. Heal. Alright. Thank you for allowing me to heal, see. You done good. Got him. Got him. I could probably chop off his tail. I've had a couple opportunities to hit it, but... That's not easy. At least I'm not getting cursed, like all these cursed body parts that are all over the place.
That was close. Wow. Heal! Oh boy. Fire orb, how much does it do? 403! Hit him! Ah! Ah! No! Apparently there's a healer in An Orlando, or did it say New Londo? I think it said New Londo. There's a purging stone. I bought some of them earlier. There. Curse purged. Uh I was too greedy and I thought I could survive. Apparently not. Oh, that sucks. Killed each other at the same time. That that sucks, man. That so sucks. Too much greed. Once I kill Seath, though, we'll have one quarter of the final bosses completed. Seath. I don't know, which one do I don't want to do next? Lost Izalith is a bitch. New Londo, maybe. The Catacombs is, is probably the easiest, I guess. I, I kind of started with, I would say, the hardest of the areas. Duke's Archives. I still haven't done the Catacombs, and that's where Gravelord Nito is. Catacombs, Tomb of the Giants. I haven't killed Pinwheel. Got to do that. I don't know. Kind of doesn't matter which way I go. I mean, any direction is a good direction. It's one step closer to ending the game, which is kind of what what hell do I want to face first, and which one do I want to face last? Because the one I face last is most certainly the one that I'm going to be the highest level for. I won't be getting too many levels between now and then, but I'm going to be getting some. I mean, come on. Tomb of the Giants is annoying. I know that. I've been in the Tomb of the Giants. I don't like the Tomb of the Giants. The Jukes! Damn. Couldn't cut it. Alright, come on. Come this way. I need to think about the fight at hand, not what I'm going to be doing afterwards. Hey, my souls. <laughs> Not a fan of that attack, sir. Really not a fan of that attack. It always connects. Okay, he started on that side. I'm safe here. So wing and a miss. God! Oh, get me out of here! Damn it! Ah! <laughs> I was 
stuck against a wall in a tail. Uh, if I get cursed one more time, I have to go farm souls because I need to buy more purging stones. Yeah, I know. Let me let me get rid of the ah! <laughs> Let me fast forward through that. I know what a curse is. I know how to deal with it. Let me let me get through, please. All right. If I get cursed one more time, I have to leave this area. Doesn't matter if I die in there. It's if I get cursed. You really can't do this with allies, because they're probably going to get cursed, too. And the fact that I can pretty much kill him outright with Pyromancy, that's nice. That is nice. Fire Orb does just about as much as the Great Fireball or Great Chaos Fireball. So... I would wear curse resistant armor if I think it would help. I really don't think it would. I mean, it would keep me alive against the curse longer, sure, but at the expense of physical defense, which has been the primary cause of the damage that I've taken. If I take too much physical with how little health I have. God damn it. Then I'm dead. Um. I can't take the physical damage. I have to have physical resistance, and that means heavy armor. I can't afford to wear curse resistant armor. Oh. Man, this run back is so long. So, I guess Gravelord Nito. Uh, what are the other two? It's Seath, Gravelord Nito, Witch of Isolith. And the four kings. I don't know about the four kings boss fight. I know four kings is going to be last. I'll, I'll make four kings the last boss fight, which means new Londo is last. So I guess the catacombs is where I'm going after this in that case because the Witch of Isolith and uh, Lost Isolith they're, they're tough cookies not an easy fight doing the Lost Isolith area it's gonna take a lot of episodes to finish this game I'm gonna be like episode 60 and finally fighting the final boss and we're only on like, what, 42, 43 right now? Man. I mean, it's flipping between Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2 because I'm gonna wanna play Dark Souls 2. Come on. Get there. Got there. Damn it. Oh my god. At least I'm alive. Oh my god, I am cursed. I there was no safe spot where I was. That's it, I'm I'm done. I can't fight Seath. 
I don't have any more purging stones. So Seath is now postponed indefinitely. Until I would go buy more more of those stones. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Um. Well, I can farm the heck out of the painted world for souls. That's easy. Really sad that Calumet was easier than Seath. And Seath wouldn't be that hard if it wasn't for the, uh, the curse. So I guess Firelink Shrine. That's my first stop. Uh, drop off the Firekeeper's soul. And... Oh, hi. Pose. No, not really, but sure. Okay. I know where he is. He's in Lost Isolith. But. Alright, as this flask reinforced, I'm going to the catacombs. But first. I need to talk to Framps. Sell him a bunch of stuff. Hey, lazy face, get your butt up. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, and why not? Morning. I got a bunch of stuff from the Crystal Caverns to I give you. Uh, did I get any replica armor? I don't think I did. But it's worth checking. NG made in Chester's black. What the fuck? I turned off the sound for Google Chrome. Why are you making sound? It says you're muted. I'll remute you. Oh. Nothing is going my way today, apparently. Okay. Uh, weapons? Where are weapons? Here they are. <laughs> Shows you, uh,. How much I remember about Dark Souls 1 after playing Dark Souls 2. Yay. Longbows. Oh my goodness, the longbows. Don't even really need another longbow, but I hold on to it just because I can. And then the crystal swords. I think that's it. It's like the last one. So many, so many crystal straight swords. They're worth nothing. Okay, I got rid of the crystal straight swords. Farewell, chosen one. Two hundred fifty-eight souls. Wow. All right, blunt weapon. What was it that that I decided on? It'll say divine. Divine great club. Fat roll. Yep, I'm fat rolling. Oh my goodness, all the things. Um, I'll I'll just. Uh, I gotta go back. I am way too slow walking. I have to put on lighter armor. Which means taking off the guardian set. Armor. Oh, I have extra chain stuff too. I should get rid of that. Elite Knight Helmet. And the armor I have, gauntlets, and the leggings.
Where am I at? I need to drop it a little bit. So, Elite Night Helm. That should drop it enough. It did. Sweet. All right. Divine Great Club. And now, actually, I don't even need the Elite Night Helm. What am I doing? What am I doing? I didn't have to go back to the bonfire. I need the Sunlight Maggot. Yeah. I'm going into the, the darkness of the catacombs. I need Sunlight Maggot for that. I will just put it on now. What's up? That is so slow. I'm going to have to get used to this. Killing off these skeletons will be uh, a nice practice for these guys. At least it's got a good range. Practice using this weapon. Certainly not my weapon of choice. Okay. What about the big skeletons? I know there's one up here. Fight you. Wow, okay. Come on. Oh! Well, that's wonderful. It knocks him back. That's powerful. Alright. Do more of a melee down here. Buster fuck fest, something like that. All right, they're dead. Oh, goodbye, sir. Ow. All right, it works. You'd think there'd be like a, a body with an item right next to the tree or something. Alright, I feel a little bit more confident using the Great Club. We're going to find the burst first bonfire, and that'll be the end of this episode. After the first bonfire. Wherever that might be. I don't know. At least I have light. I can see. Oh god. Forgot about those guys. Uh, let's, let's just get, get out of here. Get out of that area. Bad place to be. Okay. Come on out, I know you're in here. Do so you see that white glow in their eyes? That white glow in their eyes. You see that? It means he's been raised by a necromancer. Without a divine weapon, hitting these guys would be completely and utterly pointless. Because they would just come back to life. The necromancer would bring him back to life. Once you kill the necromancer, the glow in their eyes goes away, and then they become mortal again. Well, as mortal as an undead skeleton can be, but an animated skeleton. This guy, the necromancer, he's the one bringing all those other guys back to life. Alright, door open. Bonfire. And make that a spawn point and call it good. I think it's 3,000 per, per purging stone. 
I think you can buy it up at, uh, in the aqueduct, that lady. I think you can buy it from her. At like 3,000 a pop. I'll want to buy like 10. <laughs> and then watch, I'll use like 2 or something, but rather be safe. So, necromancers don't respawn. Skeletons do. But, as always guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. We're getting through the catacombs and the Tomb of Giants. Seath is later.